If you're trying to get an LLC business credit card with no income verification, here are the steps I want you to follow right now. Step number one, you got to define your business. So when we talk about business definition, we're talking about a, a series of things you need to do. And the thing is, it's not just you trying to preserve your personal assets, but you also need to comply with the, the, the relevant laws and regulations in the state where you are basically operating from, right? So when we talk about business definition, we're talking about business registration. You have to have, you, you, so your LLC must be properly registered. So if you're looking for an LLC business credit card, you need to have a, a registered agent service, okay? You need to actually uh, file the proper paperwork with the state authority. So we're talking about your articles of organization. We're talking about uh, you having uh, operating bylaws. And it's really important because a lot of folks believe that they have an LLC, but when you actually dig deeper or you probe them, they tell you, hey, listen, I don't have uh, this and that and this and that. So the business credit card issuer is gonna ask you all those questions. So you wanna make sure that you also have a certificate of good standing from your state. If, you, if your LLC is indeed in good standing, if your LLC is, uh, is legit, Chances are you wouldn't have any problem actually uh, getting a certificate certificate of good standing. So this is really important. And one thing I also want to say here is that you can be a one-person show. Yes, not a problem. There's something called a single member LC. So if you're listening to me right now, you are a single member LC. You can qualify for an LC business credit card with no income verification. Not a problem. You don't have to be a multi-member LC. You don't have to be a a multi-person show um, like you can be a single person like a soul a solopreneur totally prop totally um totally uh, acceptable one thing i need to say though is that you want to plan things ahead so getting an llc business credit card with no income verification takes a little bit of time so this is uh long this may take longer than your usual uh, business credit card application so what we have done what we have seen in our research over the last 20 years is that it takes anywhere from uh, three days to one week and uh, it's usually better to apply at a branch don't apply online don't apply uh, don't apply over the phone you have to go to a branch and have a conversation at the branch and uh, it, yeah so they will explain everything to you in terms of uh, what you have to provide and whatnot the second thing I want you to do here is to clean your financial history this is so important. By the way, welcome back to the show. I really, uh, I'm really happy to have you here. And one thing I want to say when I talk about cleaning your financial history, I'm just talking about removing all the all the kinks. Okay, your LLC maybe has a a loaded, quote unquote, loaded financial history or financial past. Right, things happen. Uh, you probably you, you you probably were not in a position where you had a fi you were able to fix whatever problems you had. And it's important to understand that when we talk about cleaning your financial history, I'm speaking not only in terms of your personal financial history but also your your uh, business financial history. Because the credit card issuer, as a you know, a, in terms of risk management, they will be looking at those two aspects of things. Though that's what we call it dual analysis so they'll, they'll be analyzing your personal financial history but also your business's financial history so you want to avoid maxing out any personal or business cards you already have and uh, it's really important to also be to pace yourself and to pace yourself in terms of in terms of applying for new credit as a matter of fact there was an article uh, in the wall street journal not long ago where they said that the uh, that entrepreneurs who are constantly applying for a new credit they are reducing their chances of getting that new credit by 35 percent think about it 35 percent and you know the wall street journal today is not the only uh, media organization that is saying that you have uh you have scores of uh, media or media organizations in the country you have uh, the harvard business review you have bloomberg you have uh you have uh, usc today you also have chicago tribune you have a lot of uh, organizations that are saying hey listen hey Wait a minute, if your ALC wants to have a business credit card with no income verification, you want to actually apply for new credit sparingly. And the, the sparing part is really important. You also need to identify to, to to ask yourself whether or not an ALC is a proper business structure for you, for your specific business, for your specific uh, operation. Because you might be thinking, you know, I want to be an ALC or I am an ALC. But the question is, does the ALC suit your operational needs 
because an LLC, as any other business structure, has pros and cons. So maybe an LP might be better for you. Might be a C corporation might be better for you. Might be an L, might be a maybe an an S corporation might be better for you. So my my point is what my point is. Clean your financial history and make sure you are you indeed need an ALC and not not another legal structure. This is so important. The third thing I want you to do right now is to be ready to explain your ALC's financial situation. By the way, I want to quickly uh, remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about LLC business credit card with no income verification. How to get that? See, the whole thing here is that, you know, we are basically sitting here and we're saying, okay, you know, we want an LLC business credit card with no income verification. Hmm. That's a tall order. And, and I'm, I'm just going to walk you through some of the questions that your uh, LLC business credit card issuer, the bank or credit union will ask you. They'll ask you, number one, why can you not verify income? What are we talking about here? What is so complicated in you, in your LLC, being able to verify income? Is it because you are actually uh, like, like, are you a cash based business? Okay. And another question that we'll ask you is, are you making money at all? Are you generating revenue? Is your LLC profitable? Because if you can't, there is one thing when it comes to not being able to verify income. There's another thing not generating not generating revenue at all right and can you show your alc's bank statements obviously your alc must have a bank statement a business bank statement so, uh, not a, your alc must have a business bank account right so if your alc has a business bank account you must be logically be able to show your business bank statements and another thing that the the uh, alc business credit card issuer will ask you is uh what substitutes of cash flow can you show? Like basically, the the credit card issuer cares about two things: the cash flows your ALC is generating, and your ALC's ability to repay whatever you charge on the card. They don't care about the rest. They don't care about like whether you can show income or no income, whatever. I mean, follow the money. They follow the money. That's all. And can you show electronic sales statements like PayPal or Stripe and whatnot? So the whole thing is that, you know, it's, it's, it's up to you. The burden is on you to establish a level of reliability, to establish a level of credibility, because the whole thing is the business credit card issuer wants to issue this credit card to you with no income verification, but you got to provide assurance that, hey, not only are you a legit business, not only you have cleaned your financial history, not only you are able to explain, you are able to articulate satisfactorily your ALC's financial situation. Very important. The next thing I want you to do here is boss, I want you to prepare a business plan for your ALC. And this is so important, especially because you are asking the business, uh, the, the credit card issuer to give you a credit card without verifying your income. And my question to you is, okay, we'll, we'll give you a, we'll give you a high limit, a high credit limit. So what are you giving us? What are you like? What kind of skin do you have in the game? Because you gotta have skin in the game, boss. Okay, you can't just say, "Listen, I, I'm," you know. There ain't no free lunch. There ain't no, no free lunch. You gotta have skin in the game. So having a preparing a business plan can help you actually allay the fears that the credit card issuer might have when it when, when they look at your uh, ALC and you're asking them to provide something to you without verifying income. So a business plan becomes the cornerstone of your strategy. I'll speak also about the projections, but you also, you have two types of uh, strategies, or, or I would say two proven tips to actually allay fears. You have a business plan and you have financial projections, okay? And when we talk about a business plan, we're speaking about a document that has a market analysis, a competitive analysis, customer segmentation, marketing, logistics, and operational plans, cash flow projections and overall path as a matter of fact the u.s small business administration the sba has said that business plans are quintessential to the uh, to the to the business funding process whether we're speaking about lc business credit cards lc business loans lc uh, business uh, lines of credit 
you need to have a business plan okay you are you, you this is how you communicate your confidence in the LLC's viability to to the business credit card issuer it, you know in accounting they call it going concern this is you're basically beefing up your going concern you are reassuring everybody you are reassuring the lender you are reassuring the credit card issuer that your going concern your LLC's going concern is strong and that's the position you want to be in so this is really important okay and so when we talk about the business plan please make sure you have a, a properly written a professional professionally written business plan i'm not asking you to spend one thousand dollars you can actually get a good business plan for one hundred dollars okay if you need uh, help if you want us to sort of help you give you uh, advice on how to actually get uh, this type of a uh, writer just uh, tell us in the comment section below we'll be very happy to help you out there are a lot of platforms out there and you know there are freelancers who will do a good job in terms of uh, giving you the kind the kind of uh, business plan you need and this is really really important and one thing i also want to say here is that you want to be in a position where you are constantly constantly making sure you are offering proper customer service okay so this is really really important the next thing i want you to do right now is to choose a suitable lc business credit card okay by the way i want to i want to remind you of to this topic again because for some of uh, some people actually pick up the show a different uh, time step time stamps yeah so i just want to quickly remind the topic we're having a conversation about lc business credit card no income verification how do you get that okay so i want you to choose a suitable uh, business credit card for your lc it's really important to understand that you know the uh when we talk about no income verification and, w and when i talk about your uh, like the business credit card suitability i'm speaking about two things First, I'm speaking about the institution issuing the business credit card to your LLC. Then I'm speaking about the type of a business credit card that you, you, you really have. So it's really important to have a clear idea what you are getting yourself into. First of all, what is the institution you are getting the credit card from? If you remember, I was just telling you, you have to do everything at, at the branch. You can't do this on the phone. You can't do this online. It ain't happening because online they'll ask you to provide revenue information. And don't lie on the business credit card application, on a business loan application, on a business loan credit application. Never lie on a credit application. Never lie in general when it comes to financial institutions. Okay, and it's really important because those carry criminal criminal uh, consequences. You don't want that. What I'm trying to say here is that when you gotta ask yourself, do I want to get my business credit card from a bank? Do I want to get it from a credit union? And when we talk about a bank or credit union, the, the other question is, the secondary question is, do I want a national player or do I want a mid-tier regional player? And th this analysis applies also, also to business, to uh, credit unions, right? And the, th and the tertiary question is, do I, do I want a rural bank or do I want a local bank? So see the thing is, so you go with like a downward in terms of the, the geography you want the bank to cover, okay? And so that's for the institution. And now part of the the the, the question about the institution is that you gotta have a solid relationship with that institution. This is very important, okay? And the other part of the uh, the other part of the conversation should be what type of business credit cards you need for your LLC, right? Do you want the cashback, a cashback business credit card? Do you want the rewards credit card? Do you want the travel perks? Well, what are you interested in? Do you want the balance transfer LLC business credit card? This is really important to have a clear idea of what your specific needs are at this particular point in time. Okay, and one thing I also want you to be clear about is the type of uh, the type of business credit card you want in the long run, not just now, but in the long run. Okay, so those are things I want you to think about. Think about them and make the proper determination. I also want you to this one to check your personal credit score. Oh yeah, this is so important. You got to check your personal credit score. You know, you know why? Because if you want an ALC business credit card, no income verification, you better have good credit. I'm not talking about fair or bad credit. You better have good credit. You got to have good credit. If not, you cannot, you can never get a, an ALC business credit card with no income verification. Never, 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 never. Why? Well, the thing here is that 
the uh, the business credit card issuer has to rely on something, right? Because first of all, if I'm a business credit card issuer, you come to me and you want to have a business credit card with no income verification. I'm asking questions already. I'm 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 I'm, I'm already scared because I want to cover my ass. Something something were to happen, it, how do I know that you will be able to repay whatever you charge on the card if you can't verify your income? Talk to me about that. You know, so this is like you you asking me you asking me to engage to partake in a very risky risky transaction, but I'll, I'll be willing to actually uh, partake in it if you're able to tell me, hey, listen, I'm a clean I'm a clean kind of person. You know, I'm a clean borrower. I'm a clean I'm a, I'm, I'm a clean LC founder because I have excellent credit. My personal credit is is in the 700s. We're not even talking about 600. No, if you have 600 sub business like personal credit score you're not going to uh, qualify for for the alc business credit card with no income verification never so so my question to you is do you have good credit do you have excellent credit boss talk to me about that because this will actually uh, will actually impact everything well it will, it will impact everything else so the, the the thing here is that you want if you don't have good credit then maybe it's time to actually forget everything I've been telling you, you want to start working on your business credit first so that you have a stellar credit score and that you can parlay into, into your application process for this ALC business credit card with no income verification. Okay, so this is important. I mean, there are a lot of ways. If you don't have an excellent credit score, don't forget that you can co-apply for this card also. You don't have to do a solo application. You can do a, a dual application. So you can apply for this ALC business credit card with no income verification. You know, we can have one or, one or two other partners for the ALC chime in. Totally possible. One thing I want you to do here is I want you to also really think about, you, you want to think about comparing ALC business credit cards with no income verifications. Okay, there are a lot of there are a lot of players out there. You have uh, Amex, you have Capital One, you have Chase, you have you have big banks, you have small banks, you have big credit unions, you have small credit unions. It is totally possible, but everything has to start with their relationship. Oh yeah, no, so no big bank, no small bank, no big credit union, no small credit union will ever give you a, cre a credit card for your LLC with no income verification if you do not have a relationship with them. You know, the funny thing is, we know that, you know, after watching this show, some people will say, well, you know, it's totally impossible. You will never get a business credit card with no income verification. Okay. It's because those people don't know how to do, how to get things done because we have done it. We are still doing it. And we're just sharing, we're just sharing here our tips and tricks to how to get it done. Okay. And it's really important to understand that everything starts with a relationship in life, in business, in credit. You know, everything. It starts with the relationship. So this is why you want to be in a situation where you have the right relationship. So compare LC business credit cards based on your needs, right? So you want, when uh, shopping around, you want to compare the rewards, the interest rates and fees. Those are quite essential. You also want to gather the required application information, right? So the the business credit card, the uh, the LC business credit credit card issuer will ask you for your business name and contact information. They might ask you for your role in the ALC, right? So are you a founder? Are you a CEO? Are you the CEO? Are you the managing partner? Are you the, uh, you know, who are you? Are you are you the COO? The, you know, they might also ask about business income. But here, since you don't want to verify income, what you want to put it, you want to put estimated. So you basically are, you, 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 you just write down a number on the application form, but you put in parentheses estimated esd.org you just write the, the full word estimated okay and uh, so you also want to mention your business details and uh, supporting documentation that you might have also this is really important so that you can actually give uh, the, the LLC business credit card issuer a clearer idea about your LLC And the final thing I want you to do here, I mean, the next and final thing I want you to do is to apply for your LLC business credit card, okay? And with no income verification, of course. And so the paperwork that you you would have you would have, uh, you would have thought about that paperwork, you need to go to a branch and submit it there. Now it's really interesting. There was a story not long ago. 
in the uh, in the MIT Sloan Management Review, and uh, they were talking about the fact that if you want to apply for a business credit card, it's important to to actually uh, contextualize the application process. And that was really interesting because a lot of people apply for business credit cards randomly, right? Like, yeah, you know, I, I need funding. I'm just going to apply for a business credit card. But this article was talking about the fact that it's uh, it's really important to contextualize the application to explain to the to the business credit card issuer why your business in this particular at this particular juncture in time, you know, needs a business credit card. So we're talking about the, the estimated spin on the card, the liquidity inflows and outflows, the the importance of uh, of uh, of your like having positive cash flows because whatever you charge on the card, the the uh, the business credit card issuer expects you to repay that that balance fully at the end of the month, right? So you really have to think about things like uh, your uh, the number of employees who are going to use the card the uh, estimated revenue as well as well as monthly expenses on the credit card okay and uh so once you've done all everything you just wait for your card your card approval so the the alc business credit card issuer will will actually uh decide within two to seven days and uh, they will let they'll let you know whether you are approved or not and they will send you a, a decision letter they might actually email you email it to you first or even text you okay and in some cases you can actually log into your app and log into the uh, business credit cards issuers app and see what the decisions are all about so totally possible everything is possible it depends on the type of uh, issuer though but the bottom line here is if you apply at a branch maybe you want to double check at the branch whether you were approved or approved or not they'll be in a position to let you know faster but again going back to what i said two to seven business days so don't you go after just like kind of bother people after one day you know like yeah you know have you guys decided blah 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 no take your time they'll let you know thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it in today's conversation i was just explaining to you how to get an lc business credit card with no income verification and so you gotta really uh, define your business from a legal standpoint create like actually clean a financial clean your financial history you got to be ready to explain your alc's financial situation prepare a business plan for your alc choose a suitable alc business credit card check your personal credit compare alc business credit cards get the required application information apply for your alc business credit card and wait for your card approval thank you thank you thank you god bless you i'll speak to you another time but until then remember stay Marvelous.